If you want to learn how to make the perfect eggplant parmigiana, then keep watching. Eggplant parmigiana is perfect to take as a side dish, eat it as a main meal. It can be made, put in the freezer, and brought out whenever you need it. It's and such it's really yummy. And it's really yummy too. Olivia and I are gonna show you step by step. It's super easy. Recipes in the comments. So let's go. So step one being the tomato sauce. So we have already pre-made this. Um, I'll put the link below to how I make this tomato sauce, but this is the sauce that we use for pasta every single day. So what we're gonna start on is the pastella. So the ingredients, we're gonna put in one and a half cups of plain flour. And then we're gonna put in quarter of a cup of grated Parmesan. Lovely. Then we're gonna add in some chopped mint. So if you haven't got any fresh mint, then you can use, what is that? You can use dried mint too. Uh, maybe a couple of teaspoons of dried mint. Um, and a quarter of a cup of the fresh mint. Lovely. After that, we're gonna add in three cloves of garlic, which is diced. And then a pinch of salt. Great job. And then we're gonna put in two eggs. So Olivia's going to, we've got one crept in here already. So we're gonna crack another one in. Yay, no shell, great job. Okay, now give that a quick whisk. Fantastic. Okay, and now we're going to mix all this together. So just give that a good mix, Olivia. Mix all this together so it'll become quite thick. I've got just over one and a half cups of cold water um, and we need to make this into a batter. So as we're mixing, we're gonna add some water, just a little bit at a time, um, to the required consistency. Ready? Okay, so this is our consistency. So not too thick and not too thin. So we're gonna peel the parmigiana first. Some people don't do this bit, but um, I don't like seeing the black in it, and especially with kids, um, they don't like seeing the black in it either. So we're going to go the other way. We have only peeled one for now. A uh, reason being, if we peel them all in one go, these will go brown really quickly. So we'll fry this lot first, then when we're onto the next batch, then we'll peel and slice these ones. So you want to be slicing these about half a centimeter thick. So I'm just gonna show you. So start with the first one and then so about that thick. So now Olivia's gonna have a go. Just be careful now. Okay, yeah. So Olivia, can you pop the oil in the pan for me? Just, I'll tell you when to stop. So a good glug. So what we do is we get one of the eggplants and we put it into the batter mix. Oh, it can get a bit messy slowly so it doesn't spit back at us. There we go. Right, next one. Oh. Okay, when they are nice and golden brown on each side, then just pop them onto a tray with some greaseproof paper or some paper towel. been fried and now we're gonna lightly salt it and um, just brings out a little bit more flavor and uh, this is cooking salt not table salt okay sprinkle it on and now we're ready to assemble the dish so we're gonna use the tomato sauce and we're gonna use cheese parmesan cheese 
We're also gonna use mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella cheese tea. I'm using a loaf tin because I want it quite thick and I want to be able to slice it really easily. So the first thing we're going to do is put a generous amount of the tomato sauce on the bottom. We're trying to make sure that we can't see any of the sauce, so we're going to layer them. Now we're going to add another layer of sauce. And now we're going to sprinkle with some parmesan. Like covering it all. Yep. And now time to add some mozzarella cheese. Now I use the grated version. Um, there's always better versions of mozzarella, like the sliced mozzarella, um, but this is fine for us. Now time to put the second layer of eggplant on. And now we're gonna continue the process of doing the tomato, parmesan, mozzarella, then the eggplant, tomato, mozzarella, parmesan. And we're just gonna continue until we get right to the top. So now we've finished, and this is gonna go into a hot oven. Um, I put foil over the top, and put it in a 200 oven for 25 minutes, and then I take the lid off and just let it go for another 10 minutes just so it bubbles and crisps up on the top. Once it's cooked, I then leave it to cool completely before slicing it. So we have some leftover eggplant, so we're gonna do that for the next batch. So my mum's getting out the eggplant parmigiana and we're going to take off Four. And we took off the wrapper, so let's see how it looks. <gasps> it looks awesome. Oh, wow, look at that. I bet it will taste even better than it looks. Wow, so we're going to um, let this cool down completely, which is going to take a while. Um, once it's cool, it can be taken out of here and it will be solid, and then it can be sliced. Um, or you can just eat it as it is right now. Um, and you can almost eat it like a lasagna. Happy? Yeah. I'm really happy. You can now wrap this in some baking paper and some tin foil and place it in the freezer. When you're ready to eat it, just simply defrost it and pop it back in the oven. Alternatively, eat it cold or pop it in the microwave just to heat through.